Okay, everybody out there, welcome back and thanks for watching. This is the long-term review of Joseph Magnus Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. All right, so if you're new to this channel, what I do on here is try everything for the very first time, I'm trying to find out what it is I like, give you my unfiltered opinion, then I come back and do a long-term review. This is not sponsored. All this stuff I'm paying for is coming out of my own pocket, so you know what I'm telling you is the truth based upon my opinion. All right, so going back into the review, I remember when I first tasted it, one of the things I noticed was that it had a good mouthfeel. And I remember that you had the uh, the flavor. You know, you could kind of taste a little bit of the port finishing. Very well done. Um, with this being a straight bourbon and not being any age statement, I'm going to assume that it's relatively young, but I think they did a good job with it. It said that it was uh, triple cast finished. Okay. Bravo. They did a good job. As I spent some time with it, I really didn't go back to it a lot, which is, you know, interesting considering that this is not a big bottle. This is a real small, like, sampler that I got to try it out with. And in hindsight, I'm glad that I did. Here's why. This kind of reminded me a lot of the uh, opinion that I had on the uh, Jefferson's very small batch. With the Jefferson's very small batch, I remember that uh, it was very tasty, very well done. Similar concept. They're taking straight bourbon. You could taste the youth in it a little bit, but they did a good job of blending it together. So you had a very tasty blend. This, I kind of felt was something similar. I mean, I kind of felt like it was young, but they did a really good job at finishing it and giving you that good overall flavor. So kudos to them on that part. I think they did that very well. The problem, however, I found with this would just happen to be the price. Now, I understand that this is a smaller distillery, right? So, you know, they don't have the, uh, the savings opportunities as the big guys do. But I'm kind of seeing this as competing with like maybe a Maker's 46, something like that. This is kind of like what I'm seeing it as competing at. So I was thinking to myself, okay, so let's go ahead and handicap this. Let's take $25 off the price. Let's make this, well, in my area, the retail for this is around a hundred for a fifth, not for this size, for a fifth. So let's make it $75. And then I was thinking to myself, do I think at $75, this would be fair. And when I thought about it, I was like, for me, no, um, because it was tasty, but I didn't really go back to it. It, it, it was nothing like memorable about it to me. Like when I first had it, I was like, okay, yeah, that's tasty. But, you know, it wasn't enough for me to say, I'm going to go on the shelf and look for that bottle. Overall, I think that this would be good at maybe around, I mean, 50, maybe 60 at the top end. But kind of where it's at now, I just, I can't see myself ever going back to it. Now, I did read that they have different finishes, the Murray Club. Those are supposed to be very good. Um, I got to do the research and see if these are older, but um, I don't know. I mean, it was good to try. I got to try it out. I got to experience it. But I just think uh, for me, you know, I'm really big on value, like overall bang per buck here. And I think that, you know, this is very novel, but I don't think it's a lot of bang per buck. Now, on the other hand, you know, if you want to just support the distillery and everything else, then yeah. I mean, you know, you, you, you would know that you're paying a little bit extra to kind of, you know, as an endorsement of what they're doing. But from a pure value perspective, I don't think the value is there. I think it's tasty, just not, not a lot of value. So that's my final take on this. I'm going to finish this off. You know what? Yeah, might as well. Bob feels there. Yep. A little harsh at the back end. That's what I'm saying. It's like I said before, you could taste the youth in there. You could taste the youth in there. <clears throat> Finish is medium. The youth is there, but they're doing a good job with the, uh, the finishing. If you're asking me what I would compare this thing, I would say that I'd probably have to go with the Maker's 46 over this. Reason being is I think the Maker's 46 is smoother 
and obviously the price. This is a different taste, but again, just like, you know, bang per buck, I would probably go with the Makers 46 over this. I'm going to try the Bell Meads, and then when I do the Bell Meads, I'll go back and compare it to this. Maybe I'll save a little tiny bit of this so I can just keep it for a sample. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. The journey continues.